Good uh, morning, friends. I uh, got the request to make a pay-to-win guide, so I will try my best. Um, to know before I start, I do everything off script, so I kind of have a few pointers besides me, low spender, mid-tier spender, and a whale. Um, it depends a little bit from player to player. I will talk a lot about how to spend and when to spend and not only about individual packs what to buy because it's it's more important um, to spend at the right moments if you're gonna spend of course so to start off if you're a low spender you don't want to spend a lot of money uh, one of the things you want to look at is first of all I only spend when we are in Odyssey or when it's a daily top-up event and one of the things you want to do the most essential one is the 30 day this is already a bit high-end but a lot of the times it's more interesting to only this buy this pack and then buy nothing else uh, because the combination of the amount of gold that you're receiving uh, combined with the extra stats um, yeah it does make a lot of difference now in addition to that um, you could buy the seven days soldier training pack the biggest advantage is not so much the training speed but the 20% treatment speed and one of the things that players run out of most is speed ups so if you can have a 20 percent treatment speed that's a huge advantage in addition to that you could go for the seven days iron pack and the reason you would only buy one is because one of the buffs that you're getting it doesn't stack so you kind of only need one of the resource packs and you will get a 5% collection bonus and load for all resources and in addition to that 10% uh, for iron plus a daily amount of uh, iron 1 million uh, iron a day now if it's a daily top-up event so that means you get every day whenever you buy a pack you get some extra rewards I always advise to go for the daily gift pack the reason being that the amount of gold that you receive compared to other packs is just a lot higher in addition to that it keeps you active because you get a lot of stamina so you have certain events like pirate event and others but mainly pirate event where it's essential that you have a lot of stored up stamina you get a lot of uh, legendary scrolls and this alone kind of already makes it worth it in addition to all the resources and speed ups that you get so this is kind of all it for like low tier spending you don't need to buy any additional pack it's just buy it at the right moment for example outside of odyssey i never buy packs and whenever we we um, get into odyssey you get like additional bonuses for uh, reaching like a certain tier so what i always tend to do is for example the odyssey event will now take for 26 more days let's say you have two weeks in between um, the certain events so what i tend to do at the beginning of odyssey i um, extend all my timers from the different packs that i have so that it reaches the beginning of next odyssey that way i can claim these rewards fairly fast and i intend to buy these anyway so that way you know you combine that now if you're gonna look at mid-tier spending one of the things you could do is because resources is the thing that often gets you you could go for the extra seven days so that not only you're receiving like the additional resources each day but also that you have like all these collection bonuses 
which also helps you in events because you have certain events like today we have a gathering event i believe let me double check that prioritize logistics my ranking is not so good right now because i just woke up but uh, this is kind of what you want to do you want to ace the days that you get additional rewards and that is something important to mention is you can buy stuff but really everything you get from events is still gonna be like 90 percent of the stuff that comes to you in addition if you're gonna buy at the right moments you're gonna multiply that a little but if you're just gonna buy packs brainlessly yeah you're gonna spend a lot of money and just gain a little so this is um, one of the important things um, sadly we don't have a certain buy event active at the moment but normally what you have is certain events where you can reach certain tiers what i always do because i consider myself not a real spender but a mid tier spender i always buy packs just enough so that i can reach the first two tiers it's not a lot that you're spending but with those first two tiers you can reach them easily and you can get like a lot of books let's say two uh, steel books another two steel books and then you have four steel books for only a little bit spend well if you want to get an additional five steel books you would have to spend like a threefold or a fourfold of what you just spent so whenever it's like and you're a mid-tier spender whenever it's like a certain spend event just go for the first two tiers they're easy to reach you get like the additional rewards and that is like the main main spending on top of your normal spending now if you're going whale level it gets a little bit difficult uh, because what i normally tend to say is as a low or mid tier spender it's not interesting for you to focus on the warmongering set with the reason being that you're always gonna be stuck on these meteorites and these meteorites you can get them from uh, certain events yes but if you're um, a high ranked player you're gonna have for example a lot of material income well my meteorites are most of the times already used just to upgrade the metals uh, the ring and the necklace so then i don't really have any uh, meteorites left to upgrade my warmongering set that is why compared to a lot of other players i don't have a high warmongering set well if you're gonna look at my mount that's in a in a, in a lot better shape the difference is also when you're looking at a uh, warmongering set it gives attack and defense well if you're gonna spend on the mounts um let me get in here you're gonna get hp or you're gonna get damage which is a lot more powerful than uh, defense or attack um, so but if you are a whale then you could consider uh, start to consider al already spending on the warmongering set as well what you will need most is um, go to the limited offers and you will buy the meteorite packs you used to have a meteorite pack in the weekly offer uh, but that sadly is gone so that is no more these are pretty interesting uh, packs as well they give good value but like i said i am not a whale i do not see myself as a whale so i do not buy these but they are worth buying yeah they give good value so yeah that is kind of the most important things um, as a whale whenever there is a buy event you will get like super nice trades you can buy for 100 euros those big packs i'm not that high end i'm just a medium spender but i hope that helps you a lot have a nice day